Editing videos like editing a Word document, is it possible? Well, you know, yesterday I cracked my phone so bad I dropped it and it feels like it cracked my heart and it just hurts so much. Anyway, so let's take a look at editing text, actually. Let's take a look at editing videos with text in action. So if you have an outburst of emotion like this while recording a video or recording someone else's video, all you need to do is to select the text that you don't want, like all of this story about a cracked phone, and press one key and it's automatically edited right there. Trust me, there's so much more to it and this is just the beginning. So how do you get all of this text? How do you get this feature? How do you get the ability to select? What other languages does it support? And what else can it do? We have so much to cover, so without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, to get this feature, you need to install Premiere Pro beta version. So how do you get that? Just open up your Creative Cloud desktop application. Inside of that, go to beta apps, right there on the left-hand side, and just install Premiere Pro. I have already installed it, so it would show something like this. Click on install and it's done. One more thing to make sure is that you launch the Premiere Pro beta app, not any other version and expect the beta features to be there. I might have made that mistake in the past. So when you look for Premiere Pro in your computer, make sure you launch this one, Premiere Pro beta. So how do we create the text or transcript and link it to the clips? There are two ways. First phase during import. So let's go ahead and create a new project or you can just click on new project from right here. Let's name it test A and you can choose whatever footage you want. So let's check this one and right here on the right hand side, you would see automatic transcription option. Let's turn it on and you can choose either of the two. And I want auto transcribe all imported media. Select your language from the second drop down and click on create. Now if you move into the transcript tab right here, you can see that it's processing. Also in the progress bar, this is processing as well. Now, if you cannot see the transcript tab, which is under text, just open up text, go to window and make sure text is opened. And it's opened right there. The other way is that if you did not do this process and automatic transcription is turned off right here, this is test B project, click on create. And let us say we even dragged our footage. So there is no transcript right here. All you need to do is to go to the text panel. Again, if you cannot see it, go to window and click on text right there. You can dock it right here if you like and click on create transcription. You need to choose text-based editing. You might ask why. This is self-explanatory right here. You want your transcript or text to be updated as you edit your sequence. So let's check that. And also you can set the language and choose whether you want to separate the speakers or not click on no because it's just one speaker and sometimes it can show this error. I'm so glad that this error showed up so that I can share with you how to fix this. Usually it happens and sometimes when I tried a few more times it fixed it but then again sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so it usually is best to go to edit and then preferences. If you are on a Mac that would be under premiere and then preferences and inside of that just go to transcription and turn on automatically transcribe clips. Select your language and you can also choose to auto transcribe all imported clips. Click on OK and it should work like a charm. Now, I don't know. I got to be honest here. It may be a mistake I'm doing. Maybe I'm missing something. Let me know in the comments or it just might be a bug because it's still in beta. Now, this technique makes navigating through your entire footage so much more easier. So as you move through the text, take a look right now. I'm just moving ahead. Have a look. The playhead moves as well. I move to the next line it goes to that section. If I click on an area like the adjustment, adjustment layer like levels or curves, it plays from there. So you can use the right and left arrow keys to move to the next or the previous word. And as we move, have a look, the playhead moves to that exact position. Now, if you use the up and down arrow keys, it moves to the next or the previous line and the playhead moves accordingly. Now, of course, you can scroll through and click on a particular word. For example, I want to choose this word called I hope you enjoyed. So I want to start here, click, and it goes to that. Position. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, place from there. And if you want to select a section, you need to make sure that this button is turned on, which is automatically set in and out points. And of course, you can select anything with a mouse, but also you can hold the shift key. And with the arrow keys, you can select as well. Use the up and down arrow keys to select entire lines and it does make a selection right here. Now, here's the best part about navigating. You can search for particular words. For example, I want to remove levels from my speech or when I talked about a particular topic. So let's search for it. So levels, yeah, there it is. You can remove that entire line or that topic. It's up to you. So I'm gonna just select that and press a key. We're gonna get to this key later, but it's gone. Now, this is just rough. We might have to refine this later, but it does a pretty good job. Now, when it comes to creating rough cuts, there are two major things we can do. Lift 
and extract. Now, what are these things? For example, right here, I accidentally said, should I end this lesson now? I don't know. So we need to remove that, of course. You can select that area. We learned about it. And if you click on lift, so this is lift. The keyboard shortcut is semicolon. Now, if your keyboard shortcuts are different, you need to check. You need to go to edit, keyboard preferences, and just search for lift. See what the keyboard shortcut is, okay? And you can either click right here. That section just deletes from right there, like a gap. But extract is a little different. Let's go back. If you clicked on extract or pressed the keyboard shortcut by clicking right here, it just removes that and sticks the rest. So that is the difference between lift and extract. Now, Windows users might have a trouble with keyboard shortcuts right here. So for Windows users, the default keyboard shortcut for extract is backspace. So let's set it to default. You would see that extract is set to backspace. But then again, if we press the backspace right here in the text panel, so let's select it. If we press it, it just kind of deletes because it's pretty confusing. Because I think the backspace key on Windows translates to delete on a Mac. So when you press that, it is like deleting the text and lifting instead of extracting. So you need to change that shortcut for this to work. Now, if you have a selection right here, and if you have the program window selected and if you press backspace, it works perfectly. But when you select the timeline right here, it doesn't work. Backspace doesn't work. So to fix this for Windows users and Windows users only, go to keyboard shortcuts, search for extract, remove backspace. And instead, let's set the single colon button that's also on a Mac next to a semicolon. Set it to that, hit OK. And now it should be fine. So when you select something, you press that key. It works perfectly. Now, although this is meant to be done in the beginning of the editing process, one other great feature of this feature is that it is very flexible. Even if you delete clips, it automatically updates, live updates right here. If you stretch it back in, it just brings back the text. So no matter how much you twist the clip, it's gonna update all the timings right there. Now, here's what's crazier. Even if you stretch it by pressing R and stretch all of the audio, even then, it adjusts the timing. Let's play it. Today I'm going to share with you why using adjustment layers. Sometimes when we are recording to the camera, we might take a little pause. And at times, these pauses can be longer. So we can easily edit that out. Now at the moment, there is no direct way to select and remove all of them. But you can click on this button right there, which is display pauses as three dots. And as you can tell, there's a long pause right here. So you can easily locate it. There is no way at the moment to select it or maybe I'm missing something, but it's a nice way to find out long pauses in your clip. So you can quickly go to this section right here. So this is where the long pause happens. Let's play it. This lesson now? I don't know. There you go. After now, there's a long pause. So we can easily create a cut right there and remove it. Um, should I end this lesson now? I don't know. And that's how adjustment layers. The crazy part is I took a long pause right here. It did not detect that. It is still in beta, but I'm telling you, this has a lot of potential. Now let us talk about preferences. If you want to auto transcribe all of your clips, or if you want to set a default language, we already learned that you need to go to edit and then preferences, open up transcription, just check automatically transcribe clips. You can choose your desired settings and set it as defaults. Now, this is going to be interesting. What about other languages? Does it create the transcript as efficiently as it does with English? Now, I know Hindi, so let's try it with that. Now, I know you speak a multitude of languages, and if your language is there, go ahead and try that, and let me know how it did in the comments. So let's turn on automatic transcription. Let's select Hindi from right here, and click on Create. Let's see how it does. Well, it is processing. It's a very short clip. Okay, no dialogue found. That's crazy. It's still processing, though. So let's wait for it. Okay, it's complete, text. Again, no dialogue found. Let's go to edit, preferences. Again, this is an error. So let's go to transcription and make sure this is checked. Everything is fine. Oh, there you go. It's right there. It just showed up. So there is a few bugs. Be prepared for that. Let's play it. Namaskar. I hope that your day is good. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. It completely missed out a few words. But overall, it's okay. We can go ahead and, of course, correct it. Now, I have a little bit of difficulty typing Hindi, but you can correct anything, any language. Just wanted to let you know. And it adjusts accordingly. Now, if you want to learn more about this beta feature, you can check out the articles from Adobe Genius People at Adobe. This one and this one, they have also linked a tutorial that they created. 
So you can check out all the shortcuts, all the details. I'll link both of these posts, I think, in the community in the comments. Photo editing world, video editing world, everything is changing so fast and we need to keep up to speed. And if you do want to keep up to speed, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. Please do keep in mind that whatever I showed you today may change by the time you even watch the video because as I was working through this, I saw a new update pop up. So maybe it's gonna be crazy. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Go!